Hi, my name is Shane Eads. I'm from Stillwell, Oklahoma. I was born in Tahlequah, Oklahoma in 1987. Growing up, especially in church, my grandpa was a Baptist pastor for 33 years, um, Reverend Lawrence Eagle at, at Salem Baptist Church. And, you know, the whole time growing up, you know, it was nothing for older men to come to the house to see him. And I would make him a pot of coffee and uh, just we would just sit there and listen to him talk. They would have conversations for hours and never speak a word of English. And growing up around here, it seems it doesn't seem that odd. But once I got married and moved uh, to Greenwood, Arkansas, and I was in a town where I was probably the only Native American there, um, it really makes you appreciate, you know, where you come from and, um, you know, never taking those little moments for granted like that. Just grew up, you know, helping my, helping my dad uh, break horses and train horses and kind of the cowboy lifestyle, which has always been kind of funny because I'm pretty much full blood Cherokee Indian. But uh, as I was growing up, uh, I was always into bull riding really big. Um, that was always something I was interested in from a, from a very early age. Started riding bulls whenever I was 17 years old and uh, was pretty good at it. Um, and really it became my dream. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to pursue a bull riding career and uh, ride bulls in the PBR. Grew up competing a lot with and against Ryan Dirt Eater, which as a lot of people know, uh, has been on the PBR tour for 10 or 12 years now. And he's, he's gonna be retiring this year. So that kind of makes me feel old, you know. Whenever I was uh, 19, um, I decided to join the Oklahoma Army National Guard. I was going to school at NSU at the time. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to earn my freedom. I knew that I wanted to make my family proud of me. Uh, so I joined the Oklahoma Army National Guard in uh, 2008, uh, graduated basic training in 2009. I was in the infantry. I was in the uh, HHC 1279 infantry in a reconnaissance platoon. I remember they brought me and one other guy in, in a small office one day and they said, you know, you have college first in your contract just based on your ASVAB score so you can stay and go to college but you have to enroll or you can deploy with us. And uh, I don't think it was ever a question. I, I knew that I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I stayed and went to school and watched all my friends leave. Um, so I went. Um, it was a combat deployment. We ran over 285 combat patrols. Um, our convoy in particular was hit by two IEDs. Um, my squad leader, Sergeant Kirk Owen, was um, he was killed over there. And uh, I received a Purple Heart for the IED uh, blast that I, that I was in. And uh, came home, started a family, and actually um, my son, my son's middle name is Owen. I, I named him after my squad leader in Afghanistan. Whenever we got back, uh, it was time to, time to raise a family and start providing. I was presented with the opportunity to try out for the Van Buren Fire Department. And I went and went through everything that everybody else goes through. I took the uh, written test, I took the agility test, went to the interview. They called me and asked me if I wanted the position. So I took that position and I've been a firefighter, um, a career firefighter in Van Buren now for four years. Once I got on the department, I realized pretty quickly that there were a lot of guys who, you know, had side jobs. I had always seen my dad growing up, you know, tinker with leather and things like that. I thought if I could start doing some custom leather work, it might, might take off for me, you know, and I'd always enjoyed art and always, always enjoyed drawing and things like that. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I've ran uh, Diamond E Custom Leather now for about that same length of time, almost four years. Um, and I just, the way that I got into it, I just had always seen dad do it, you know, and I started doing it and I enjoy it. It's, it's something that uh, I can do on my days off and it's, uh, it's very rewarding, you know, to, to be able to make a quality product for somebody and, you know, then see it two years down the line and it's still holding up and they still enjoy it. So I just always put my heart into it and it's very easy with leather work to be able to, to show your, your Native American culture in it because people do like feathers and they do like headdresses and things like that, you know, so it's pretty neat.